Welcome to the OSCO LC Brake Minor Service video. We define a minor service as the routine service performed every 250 hours or at your shortest scheduled periodic maintenance interval. OSCO has produced a simple checklist to guide you as you perform this service as seen here. As a reminder, all of the steps to be performed in the minor service are explained in detail in the OSCO LC Brake Operations Manual, Section 1, pages 7 through 14. This video has been produced to aid in understanding the Operations Manual in the event we could not be present to train you. The objectives of the minor slash routine service are, number one, to check and record the wear pin measurement on each brake. Number two, to check the oil fluid level and oil condition and replenish if needed. Number three, to regrease the LC brake hub with non-EP grease. Number four, to check the fluid level of the premium pump pack reservoir and top off if needed. Number five is to check the master cylinder reservoir's fluid level. Prior to starting the checks and services, you'll need the following tools. A digital depth gauge to make the wear pin measurements, a flat blade screwdriver to assist in the removal of the wear pin, an 11 16 inch wrench, socket, or spanner to remove and tighten the oil level port plug, a flashlight to check for leaks and observe fluid levels, and a manual grease gun filled with non-EP grease to replenish the grease in the grease barrier. Prior to starting the service, ensure that the LC brakes are applied with no power being supplied to the premium pump pack. There should be no lights on on your control panel here, and there also should be no keys in the ignition. Okay, so at this point, you should have your parking brake applied or set, uh, so you would not be able to remove, uh, turn the hub at all. Um, and we're going to check the wear pin height, which is behind this plug. So first thing you're going to want to do is remove the wear pin plug and then clean the top surface of the wear pin bore. Um, the wear pin plug can be removed by prying with a screwdriver or other flat tool. The park brake must be applied for an accurate wear reading. Measure the height of the wear pin face to the top surface of the wear plug bore on the end plate face. If the pin measures 6.48 millimeters or less, the brake is worn and requires rebuilding. So now, I'll show you how to do this real quick. Take a flat head, stick it in there, pop that out, it's just an o-ring plug. Set it up here, take a rag or whatever and, and wipe your actual pin face off. Make sure it's clean. Then you're going to take your digital depth gauge, okay, and you're going to put it on the hub and push all the way against it, verifying it zeroes out on the hub. Um, the hub is a perfectly flat face, so it's a good place to zero it. As you can see, I'm zeroed. Now you're going to take your pin and you're going to put it between the middle and the outer edge of the wear pin. So halfway between the middle and outer edge and push your depth gauge in. Make sure it's all the way in and you're pushing flat against the brake and that'll give you your reading, which ours is 7.64 millimeters and anything over 7.62 millimeters is considered a new brake so if you were below 6.48 millimeters you would need to send your brake in to get rebuilt but anything above that is fine to use and then after that you're going to want to push your your plug back in just use your same flathead pop it in until it's all the way in and then go to the other side and take your depth measurement on your other brake. So the next step we're going to do is check the brake oil that is in here. And we'll do that by taking off the oil level port plug and examining the oil. So with an 11 16 remove this plug.
take your flashlight and shine it in and your oil should be right up to the threads in this oil level port plug. If the oil is milky, you're going to want to change the oil and replace the seals. Water intrusion is the likely cause. Oil can be drained through the drain port on the bottom of the brake, which is right down here. If the oil is thicker than normal or if any sludge is present, change the oil and replace the seals. Grease in the oil will degrade performance. Brake may require rebuild depending on severity of contamination. If you put your nose up here and you, the oil smells burnt, you're also going to want to change the oil. If there's medical, metal particles in the oil, seek service. Brake may need to be rebuilt or replaced. When refilling or adding oil, add OSCO LC brake oil at the fill port, which is right here, until it reaches the level port. It'll rise up until it reaches the here. Now, an important note is using fluids other than the OSCO LC brake oil will affect brake performance, creating hazardous conditions. Also, using fluids other than OSCO LC brake oil will void all brake warranties. When you're done checking the oil, make sure you put your oil level port plug back in and also if you removed your fill plug or your drain plug. For the next section, we're going to be greasing the hub on the brake. So we need the brakes released in order to perform that because we have to actually turn the hub while putting the grease in. So since our door switches are hooked up in the system, we have to reach in through the window to turn our vehicle power to the battery on position and then come down to your control panel make sure your red buttons pushed in push the tow mode button so your green light flashes and release your brakes now you can go ahead back to the brake Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is verify that your hub is released by turning it, which it's a little bit challenging to turn with the half shafts in place, but it can be done. So I usually start with it at the 12 o'clock position, and you do not want to use extreme pressure grease. This will cause premature lining wear, as you've heard before. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is remove your cap off of here and hook your grease gun up to this and start pumping until you see grease protruding from the wiper seal around the hub okay so as you can see I've got grease coming out already so now take this off and turn your hub 90 degrees. Okay. Hook your grease gun back up and hit it again with more grease until you start seeing it come out. Which you can see there. Then turn it another 90 degrees. And hit it with more grease. See it coming out. Turn it 90 more degrees. Hit it again. Little grease comes out. It's coming out. And then you're going to finish by turning it 90 more degrees back to the position we started in and hitting it one more time. Now, if you see when you're pumping grease into here, if you see water coming out, uh, you're going to want to keep putting grease in until all the water is flushed out from the grease barrier. Then when you're done with that, you can take a rag and wipe up all the excess grease. Put your red cap back in and go do the other brake. Alright, so the next check you're going to want to come back into the cab of the vehicle and check the premium pump pack, remove the cover plate on it if you haven't already done so. 
and what we're going to do is look at the reservoir over here and with the pump off and the brakes applied you're going to want to make sure that the reservoir is filled two-thirds full or to the top of the upper circular indentation as you can see that second dimple up in the reservoir uh, I got the fluid filled right to it okay now if the pump was running the fluid would be a little lower because it's circulating through the system that's why we say to have the pump off when you're checking this in operating environments that are above zero degrees Celsius you want to use Dexmerc ATF fluid now in environments that are below zero degrees Celsius please use Kendall Glacial Blue in the reservoir at this point it'd be a good idea to check that your brake fluid reservoir at your master cylinder is also filled to your max line now please make sure that you've done all the checks to both brakes on the vehicle because by performing these simple checks at each scheduled maintenance interval it will help to ensure your OSCO LC brake system is ready for your extreme mining environments at all times.